when you and, and JJ and Chris checked out in the first quarter, you guys are up 28 at that point. Um, is that as good of a stretch as the starters have had together this season? Uh, it was a good stretch. I don't know if it's uh, the best or not. Um, we, we did what we wanted offensively, defensively, we were pretty good. Had a couple of lapses, but you know, we, I think we've had some pretty good games like this year so far. Great. Um, you, you thought you had a couple of lapses defensively there in that stretch? Um, I mean, a couple. I mean, they scored seven, <laughs> they scored, they scored seven points. Yeah, well, how'd they score seven points? <laughs> <laughs> what, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'm just answering the question. <laughs> um, yeah, it was the best we've ever played. Right? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's always things that you can you can improve on. Um, not having seen the tape yet, I'm sure there'll be a couple of things that we can iron out. Chris said you guys are encouraging Luke to be more aggressive offensively. Mm -hmm. um, the last two games he has been. How much of a lift can that be? It's huge, man. I mean, Luke can score the ball. Just you know, he puts so much energy and, and um, effort in defensively. Um, and that's tough to do. It's not an easy thing to play um, both ends. And, as hard as he does, so um, just give him the confidence to shoot, drive. I mean, he's he's been great for us. Um, just adding that other threat. Blake, through eleven games, you guys have posted the the fourth best point differential in NBA history, better than what we saw out of the Warriors last year. What does that mean to you? Um, I think I think uh, it just shows our focus. I think our focus has been in the right place. I think guys have completely bought in. Guys aren't really worried about personal stats. Uh, it's about executing and doing your job, doing what you're supposed to do, being there for your teammate. I think that's the biggest thing. Our, our, our first unit, it's it feels like somebody's always there for you when you mess up, and then um, you're always looking to be there for somebody. Not, not even necessarily messing up, but when you're when you you know you run running somebody off the line, somebody's there for you, and then you gotta have their back. So um, I think it's just been it's been. Our communication, our trust, um, and our, our, our willingness to just buy in. Let's piggyback on that. Uh, last couple of years, you started off the season slow, but can you talk about starting 10 and 1, what that means to you and maybe to the franchise? That was one of the things that Doc <laughs> talked about maybe in our very first meeting. I know early on in training camp was getting off to a good start. Uh, we, did, we haven't gotten off to a good start really. I don't know what, what our best year has been before this year, but um, it hadn't been great. You know, we've had stretches where we've been good, but we haven't put together a lot of games like this. Um, it's just, uh, I think it just speaks to, like I said, how, how we're playing. I think guys have just have, have bought in and, and understand um, what it takes. Like a lot of the, a lot of the last couple of playoff have, have ended with either you getting hurt, Chris getting hurt, things, Things happening. There was there was one obviously where um, in Houston you guys that was on the court, right? But how does, does a lot of do, do you ever go back and think like we weren't ready to win then because the injury kind of cut it off where you didn't you couldn't answer the question, right? The Memphis series, the last year in Portland, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Do you, do you feel like those were unfinished or, or just simply bad poorly timed injuries? Um, yeah, a little bit of you know, poorly timed injuries. Doc talks about it all the time. To, to win a championship, you, you have to have a little bit of luck. It's not to say that you're not good or that you didn't earn it, but you know, guys being healthy at the right time is, is a big part of it. Um, you know, the Houston, the Houston series, that's something we still think about, but it happens. You know, we saw it happen in Oklahoma City in the playoffs. We saw it happen in the Warriors in the finals. The uh, Indians, if you want to go baseball, uh, you know, it's just it's part of it. And, and you know, when you go through ex experiences like that as a team. It can do one or two things. It can kind of make you grow apart and resent each other and, and start pointing a finger, or it can bring you closer together. And I think that's what that's done. Um, you know, even last year too, going through that that um, season and, and that that ending in the playoffs the way it did, I think it's it's brought us closer together. I think a lot of the narrative on you guys is okay. They've had great regular seasons. They've had stretches like this, but they haven't done it in the playoffs. But then if you like, if you go through, I mean, is that a fair narrative? Like whether with a, a, like an injury or a not know, ready just, yet. Is, is anything that people really say? You are the editor of the Players' Tribune. So it's, 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 <laughs> I'll write a piece on it. <laughs> uh, I mean, people are going to say whatever they want to say. You know, I, I think I talked about it before, but when I came into the league, the, the talk was 
Uh, you don't want to go to the Clippers. They've never had a high draft pick be successful. Uh, then it was, you're not going to make the playoffs. Then it was, um, you can't sustain it. Like, it's always going to be something. Always going to be something until you win. So, when I, I'm not worried about, you know, all the talk about during the regular season, they're fine, the playoffs, whatever. I mean, each year is different. If you don't think we're, we're, we still have the same goal every year and we're going to try to win a championship every year, then you're crazy. Um, you can say whatever you want. Uh, you guys had uh, five guys, I think, with at least four assists in this one. You kind of recognize JJ on that on that dunk where he found you. Does it seem like maybe more than ever there's a lot of guys finding open players? And what does that say about the ball movement right now? Ball move has been, been really good. I think our cutting has been great. That's a, that was a point of emphasis early early on in, in training camp as well, um, making sure you know, even when we hit the post, you know, that movement is there. Um, guys just, just constantly moving. Um, and, and knowing each other and knowing the offense so well helps a lot. You know, last year Luke was still getting familiar at times. Um, but this year everybody having kind of a year or, or even more under their belt, I think, has, has really helped our offense. Blake, you guys on the bench look pretty excited when Diamond finally mm -hmm. got, a, got a score. What, what did you say to him? Um, before he went in, I was like, I told him he needed to get five rebounds, a block shot, and a deflection. I said, I was like, don't even worry about the points. That'll come if you do that. So, uh, what do you have? Two rebounds. So, he's, 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 so he's terrible. Uh, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to see a guy. You know, I, he's such a young kid and he's such a good kid, but, you know, you, you go through the ups and downs of, of being a rookie and then being on a team like ours, you know, where he hasn't gotten a lot of playing time and he's, he's working out you know, two times a day. Um, and it's 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 a it's a hard thing for a 19 year old kid to do, and uh, you know I think we're all happy when he gets in the game and, and finally gets that that, that first bucket. Um, I mean I think we all remember our first bucket, so hopefully it was a it was a fun experience for him. And secondly, um, Raymond shot the ball exceptionally well for you guys. Did did you expect to get that kind of contribution from him? I mean, that's you know, even been the book on. Uh, I'm not really. I, I I didn't really put a lot of thought into to offensively. I think my biggest thing for him was like just how he was running the offense, and he's been exceptional at that, in my opinion. Um, he he's got guys into spots. He knows the offense. He's pushed the ball, but even more importantly than that, defensively, he's been unbelievable. I mean, whether if it's C.J. McCollum or, or whoever it is, he's been tough. You know, and, and he dogs the ball from from the time it gets thrown in to time it either gets turned over or we rebound or goes through the net so um, that's that's been our biggest concern and you know him shooting the way he, he has is, is um, just a, a bonus in my opinion um, but he's coming in great shape and he's, he's, he's worked hard and, and he's earned that. All right. Thanks guys.